Months have passed since Singles Inferno Season 3 wrapped, leaving us curious about the cast's current lives. And you'll be surprised how much has changed. Let's start off with one of the biggest heartthrobs of the show, Choi Minwoo. As we all know, he was caught in a steamy love triangle during his time at the Inferno. While he had sparks flying with fellow model Yu Shi Eun, he also got really close to Kim Geary. Ultimately, Minwoo and Shi Eun stole the show, choosing each other and leaving Paradise together. Fast forward to today, it seems like Minwoo is thriving. He's been representing presenting multiple luxurious brands, proving that his professional career pretty much skyrocketed after appearing on Singles Inferno. His Instagram feed isn't just about work, though, as he also gives us a glimpse into what he likes to do in his spare time. Of course, the burning question is whether he and Shiyun are still together. The two still follow each other on Instagram, suggesting that they're probably still in touch. When they left the Inferno, fans were convinced their love story would be like one straight out of a K-drama, and for a while, it really seemed like that. When Shiyun uploaded a behind-the-scenes picture of the two together, after the show wrapped, Minwoo was one of the first people to comment. Although Minwoo was the youngest contestant, he didn't use any honorifics towards Shi Eun in the comment, which made fans believe that they were definitely dating. The two then attended a fashion show together in February, which only added fuel to the fire. Unfortunately, as more time passed, the two started interacting less with each other, leaving everyone wondering whether they're still seeing each other. A platonic relationship is definitely still there, but it looks like they couldn't make it work romantically, Shi Eun, just like Minwoo, has been thriving in her modeling career. It's safe to say she does every type of modeling, as she posts pictures of herself in wedding dresses, promoting new perfumes, and even doing commercials for drinks. She's also very active on her YouTube channel, where she shares just about anything that she experiences. In March, she even uploaded a video with Minwoo in which they reacted to the finale of the show. Both of them talked about their experience and connection in the past tense, suggesting that they're not romantically involved with each other any longer. She clearly cherishes the friendships she made on the island because she uploaded quite a few posts with her castmates in January. She even shared pictures of her and the cast cheering on Lee Guan He at one of his basketball games. During this game, Shun even joined Guan He to jump rope with him. This single interaction led to quite some controversy because a comment on a fan video of her at the game sparked widespread discussion about her appearance. A netizen claimed she could barely close her mouth due to all the work she allegedly got done. Park Min Kyu wasn't having any of this. When he saw the comments, he quickly came to Shi Eun's defense, denying the plastic surgery accusations. It's said that Min Woo was also present at this game, but the two didn't share any interaction. Next up, let's find out what Kim Gyuri has been up to. She was the first to enter the inferno, and oh boy, did she stir up some drama. In the end, she left the island with Park Min Kyu, and it was a pretty last minute decision. The couple's late development on the show left questions about their long-term potential. Currently, there's no public confirmation of their relationship status. Guri received quite a bit of backlash for her attitude on the show, but it seems like she's left all of that behind her. On her Instagram, you can see she's still connected with the case through their interactions, but her profile doesn't suggest she's dating anyone. Her modeling career has been thriving since she often posts collaborations with high-end brands. Overall, it seems like she's very much enjoying life. Min Kyu, on the other hand, was linked to Yoon Ha Jong after the show ended. In January, he posted a picture of the two together at Guan He's basketball game, and Min Kyu made everyone's hearts flutter when he covered Ha Jong's face while she was drinking to prevent any unflattering pictures from being taken. Min Kyu proved himself a true gentleman online when he shared that he made that move because she wasn't wearing any makeup. To make things even sweeter, when a fan commented that Ha Jong still looked beautiful, Min Kyu replied with a confident, sure thing. As for his personal life, he still works as a police officer and a member of the Korean Coast Guard's elite special rescue team. On his Instagram, he often shows off his strong physique and even posts pictures with fellow singles Inferno contestants to show off that their friendships are still going strong. Now that Ha Jong was mentioned, let's see what she's been up to. She's actually been very active on her YouTube channel where she often posts vlogs of exciting things going on in her life. As of right now, it looks like she's single. Although Ha Jong was introduced as an office worker, judging from her Instagram, it looks like her modeling job has taken over. There was even a rumor going around that she would become a panelist for season four of Singles Inferno, but whether that's true is still a mystery. And like the others, Lee Jin Sok and An Min Young faced their challenges, but in the first month's post-show, they seemed to be doing pretty well. At the beginning of the year, they were spotted together quite often. For instance, they showed up together at Guan He's basketball game. Min Young then even visited Jin Sok's cafe, where she baked him bread, just like she promised 
on the show. She also posted an unreleased picture of her and Jin Sok and even reposted several fan posts about them. Their future together looked really promising until Jin Sok shattered hundreds of hearts when he revealed they're actually not seeing each other. Explaining they have other priorities, he said, and Min Young and I had feelings for each other, but since Min Young and I both have businesses that we focused on, we aren't currently dating. We're on good terms with good feelings towards each other. Min Young is busy being a Pilates instructor, model, and even has a YouTube channel, so it's safe to say she doesn't have time for a boyfriend. Meanwhile, Jin Sok owns several cafes, so he also clearly has other things to focus on. Next up is Choi Minji, who's been very busy pursuing her dreams. Introducing herself, Minji shared that she's an economics major at Ihua Women's University, a prestigious women's research university in Seoul. While economics is her major, her true passion lies in becoming a television anchor. Her weekday mornings kick off with a newspaper study group where she practices reading scripts. It seems like she made her dream come true this May because she revealed she'll be reporting weekly for KBC, one of the biggest broadcasting channels in the country. On her Instagram, she showed off that she also does some modeling on the side. It's safe to say that she's doing great, despite the fact that she left the island alone. Someone who was pretty mysterious on the show is Yoon ha -bin. Unfortunately, he didn't find love but there's also very little we got to know about his career or backstory. Turns out he's actually an actor and you might've spotted him in episode two of the highly popular drama, My Demon. He also appeared in episode 12 of The Midnight Studio, further proving that he's trying to make it as an actor. Even more surprising is that these are his only acting credits so far, according to Asian Wiki. That means he just started out in the industry, despite already being over 30 years old. This leaves fans wondering what he used to do before stepping in the spotlight, but that's still a big mystery. On his Instagram, he doesn't share much details on his career, but recently he started a YouTube channel, so who knows, we might find out more about him in the near future. Moving on, let's talk about Lee Guan Hee and Choi Hye Sun. Although their time on Singles Inferno was a wild ride, they found themselves leaving the island together. Fans who were rooting for them were ecstatic to find out that they were still going strong at the beginning of this year. On January 10th, Guan He gave an interview explaining his connection to Hye Sun. He said, I can't tell you everything in detail, but all of the contestants keep in touch and get along well. Of course, I'm also getting along fine with Choi Hye Sun, but I am careful not to reveal too much. Hye Sun only made things more suspicious when she posted a picture of a meal she was enjoying during a call, but kept the other person a mystery. Fans suspected it might have been a cozy dinner date with Guan He. When Hye Sun deleted the post right after she uploaded it, fans were convinced this was her way of hinting at her relationship with Guan He. Another clue that hinted at a deeper connection came from Hye Sun's comment on one of Guan He's posts. He shared a group photo and she playfully teased him saying, it's too dark. I told you to send it to me in advance so I can put a filter on it. Looks like he found himself a new personal photo editor, or at least that's what it seemed like, until Guan He went public to clear the confusion surrounding their relationship in a personal statement made in February. He said, First of all, I want to tell you that we are not a couple. To be honest, right after the broadcast, we kept in contact and saw each other during work get-togethers. But I need to be in a relationship where I can meet the person every day. Turns out that things didn't work out due to the distance between them. Explaining this, he added, Realistically, Hye Sun will need to go to England soon, and I need to move back to Changwon and focus on my training. So I didn't think we could be a couple. This caused an uproar among fans who were upset that Guan He made the choice to leave Inferno with her, knowing the relationship had no chance of working outside of the island. Despite their failed relationship, Guan He and Hye Sun seem to be doing pretty well professionally. He continues to be a shooting guard for the Chang Wan LG Sakers, and he's clearly still very popular, as he's even holding a fan meeting in June. He recently also signed with Bonbu ENT, who's home to many athletes who are also entertainers. Who knows, maybe we'll see him in more entertainment programs in the future. As for Hye Sun, she's been busy finishing her studies in the UK. Of course, she also does some modeling on the side and has also been seeing most of Europe with her friends. In other words, she doesn't need a man to be happy. Last up is Sun Wanik, who sadly also left the Inferno on his own. On his date with Shiun, Wanik revealed he's a realtor who provides consultations for premium properties in Seoul. His Instagram shows that's not all he does though because he also models now, not to mention that in April he even worked at a dog rescue center, which is absolutely adorable. Just like many of the other contestants, Wanik also has a YouTube channel. Here he often posts videos with the other contestants, showing that he's still good friends with them. For instance, Shiun appears in his most recent vlog where they arrange flowers together 
together, which is super adorable. It looks like Wanik has many different hobbies. In Singles Inferno, we saw him in a boxing ring, suggesting that he likes to be in the ring when he has some time off. On his Instagram, he's also seen going on long hikes and he even likes to run marathons. As the cherry on top, he's also an avid reader, posting every book he reads this year in his highlights. His future partner will definitely never get bored.